Let's make some Moroccan carrot salad. Welcome back to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill and today we're making a delicious Moroccan carrot salad because it's summer so we all want to be eating more salads. This is kind of a happy medium. It's still a very hearty salad but it's still light enough to eat for summer without making you feel heavy. So we're just going to jump right in. Uh, the printable version of this recipe will be, there will be a link in the details below. So first we have some grated carrots. This is two cups of finely grated carrots. And I have two stalks of celery that I've also diced really fine. And we're making these all really fine so that every bite that you get gets a little bit of each of the ingredients that are in there. So you get all of those really in interesting flavors. Then we have a quarter of a cup of raisins, but you could use currants or even cranberries, something like that. Just some dried fruit that has a little bit of tartness to it. Then we have a quarter of a cup of sunflower seeds. You could also use pepitas. I have two tablespoons of finely diced Kalamata olives, and that's completely optional. I just like to have that little bite of something a little bit salty in there because we're kind of covering all of the different taste profiles in this salad. Then I have some really finely diced red onion, about a quarter of a cup. And one of the secrets here, because this is a Moroccan flavored salad, the seasonings are a little bit different, something that you wouldn't think of putting together. So I'll show you the spices in the salad dressing next, but this is the fresh uh, herb. This is finely diced minced mint, and that just gives it a really, really light, fresh flavor. Then I have a cup and a half of cooked lentils, and this is just a regular brown lentil, but you could use whatever kind of lentil you like. So this is a half cup of dried lentils cooked in water, or it's about equal to one can of lentils. Then I always like to put a generous amount of cracked pepper. And we're just gonna lightly toss this a little bit because we'll toss it again when we get our dressing going. Just enough to get it, start getting it incorporated together. All right, I'm gonna move this stuff out and I'll get my dressing ingredients. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series, are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. There's no denying the plant-based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard-to-get nutrients even well-crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant-based diets in dosages optimized specifically for us. Plus, Complement is completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save 15% off of your order. Okay, now for this delicious dressing. So we're gonna put our water first. This is just a third of a cup of water. Then I have a half teaspoon of turmeric, a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Yes, I said cinnamon. A half teaspoon of smoked paprika and a half teaspoon of uh, cumin. And I have four tablespoons of lemon juice, one tablespoon of tahini. That's gonna give it that really rich, nutty flavor. That toasted sesame seeds are always a great thing to have in there. Then a teaspoon of date syrup. But if you don't have date syrup, you could use maple syrup. That would be fine too. 
and then a teaspoon of stone ground mustard. And that's also, if you have, if all you have is Dijon mustard, go ahead and use that. We just kind of need that, that kind of bitterness of that mustard. So we're just going to whisk it up a little bit. Make sure we get all of that mixed together so there's no big clumps of mustard or anything in there. All right. So see how simple this is? This is so easy and quick to put together so you don't have to do any cooking in your kitchen when it's really hot for summer like it is already in North Carolina. It's already hot here. So we're just going to pour this over it and toss it in. And this is one of those salads it's even better the next day. You know how salads, sometimes if you don't eat them fresh that day, the next day they're kind of wilted and yuck. This one, the flavors actually deepen. So you get a different kind of salad flavor the second day. So this is enough for probably four servings. So you and your spouse or your little one could have it one day and save the rest in a, an airtight container in your refrigerator and have it the next day. All right, there we go. I'm gonna grab a bowl and a fork and I'll meet you at the table for a taste. All right, let's go for a taste. Can I get a healthy portion here? Cause I absolutely love this salad. Mmm. So many flavors and layers. Oh, you are gonna love it. Come on back next week for another great recipe.